everything without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dumped it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. Took power from me. SMT Nation, let me tell you a little bit about our partner, Mint Mobile. You guys know the Fox. You've seen the commercials. You know what they're about. They're about great value, giving you excellent customer care, and helping you save money. I know a lot of people are really going to enjoy these savings and take advantage of these great offers. Make sure to use our partner link and really reap the benefits of this service. What up, SMT Nation? I'm here. Where the hell am I? Uh, Brooklyn, Ohio, I think. Brooklyn, uh, Lindale, I, f I forget where I am. The I'm on the border of a couple of cities here, just outside of the city of Cleveland. Cleveland's back over that way, and then this way goes over to, like, Brook Park. That way goes over to Brooklyn, Ohio. So I think, I think, I think this is Lindale, technically, but, like, right on the border of Brooklyn, Brook Park. Anyways, uh, I don't know if you guys can tell. Let's, let's check out the Samsung Galaxy S22 Zoom. There's a tower back there, and I think everybody's on it. I can't really tell. Definitely Verizon at the top, because I see the two taller antennas. But the site's probably modernized, because uh, I'm connected to the 5G Ultra Wideband. Uh, I'd, I'd guess T-Mobile and AT&T is on there, too. Uh, I got 5G Plus here on the iPhone. I'll go ahead and test that, too, by the way. Let's let's do that here. Okay, so this will be AT&T on the 5G Plus. They have 80 megahertz of... C-band active that connects on the iPhone. I don't think it's combining DOD yet, so that's going on the Pixel 7 Pro. We got us the uh, got us the Verizine, and the reason why I want to test here strategically is because there's an Amazon fulfillment center there, right on the corner of American and Memphis. All right, so this is Memphis Road here, and things are looking pretty good. I think we've got a 100 megahertz channel of N77 for Verizon. So that's cooking. Uh, we got the 80 megahertz of N77 for AT&T. So we got 413 down, 26 up. We got a 46 ping, 12 jitter, 487 and 59 respectively on the loaded latencies. And then on the Pixel with the Verizon, we got 538 down, we got 84 up, three jitter, 40 ping, 662, 320 for the loaded latencies. Okay, so good stuff there. Let's go ahead and um, pop this into LTE. Let's give it the old LTE whirl. And we could see if, you know, we got ourselves a, like a CBRS upgrade too, which we probably should. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put the AT&T. Actually, no, this is FirstNet. My bad, guys. I, <laughs> we were testing FirstNet. That wasn't AT&T. But I mean, kind of AT&T. Anyways, go ahead and test it on LTE. I just switched the mode. Okay, yeah, so this is first net. My bad, folks. Not to deceive you in any way. It was not my intention. Forgot I had my first net sim active. Yeah, you'll see it down there. Okay, so that's going. Uh, Verizon just finished. Looks like it's got a CBRS upgrade. Uh, band 48. 246 down, 21 up, 39 ping, 6 jitter, 530 down, and 634 for the up on the loaded latencies. Okay, and then there's the LTE side for first net. Uh, we got 30 ping, 4 jitter, 643 and 250 on the loaded latencies, 170 down and 20.9 up. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is let's actually slide over and turn on my AT&T sim. And we'll switch it from the first net. Just to kind of see what the actual commercial grade consumer network is doing. Uh, so I'll go ahead and switch it. I'll turn off the first net sim and then... We'll switch over to the Death Star, and this will be with 5G on. We can kind of compare it and see what it's like. It shouldn't be much different. On my experience, you got a very capacitive, you know, uh, network experience here for AT&T. It's really nice. It's actually faster. Oh shoot! <laughs> oh man, might have to turn off that first net sim, man. Oh look at that. All right, so we got um, 39 ping, three jitter. And for downlink, we got 611. And then for uplink, we're pushing about 60 meg. We're at 56 megs. And then uh, three jitter, 188 and 137 respectively for the loaded latencies. That's good stuff. Wow. And then we got a freaking yellow jacket. Fuck it out of here, man. Kick rocks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Y
getting a raw and uncut from the SMT <laughs> all right so we got derailed a little bit there let's go ahead and check LTE on uh, on at and we saw the 5g speeds right okay so let's do that you freaking still in here dude get out of here why are you even in here okay we finally connected on the speed test okay it's freaking still in here all right, so pays to be on the 5G Plus, right? All right, 39 ping, 10 jitter, got 97 down, and we got about 15 megabits up, 14 megabits. So you really want to be on the 5G Plus, guys. If you don't have a 5G Plus phone, you know, you don't have an iPhone 12, 13, 14, you know, if you don't have a Galaxy, you know, S21 or newer, that sort of deal, you really want to get on it for at and It makes a huge difference for Uplink, massive. Okay, so we did Verizon, we did AT&T, we did FirstNet, we got one more to do, you guys know who it is. We gotta do T-Mobile, the Magenta Carrier, right? All right, so let me go ahead and activate that SIM. I'll go ahead and switch the cellular data over to T-Mobile. And actually what I'll do is I'll turn off AT&T completely. And then for T-Mobile US, let's make sure that we're on 5G and then we'll test the LTE as well, okay. Is that bee gone? Freaking yellow jackets, man. By the way, quick question. Are yellow jackets considered to be a type of hornet, technically? Anybody know? Quick reference on that. All right, so we are connected to 5G UC. Got a good ping, 15, five jitter. And then uh, downlink, we've got, looks like some usage. See, this is why I want to test this, right? We're near the Amazon Fulfillment Center. You got a lot of folks working in those facilities there ton of traffic you guys see that they're coming and going uh, there's like a there's some trucking going on here and all these different uh, warehouses and shipping centers uh, there's residential over on this side some apartments yeah this is, a, this is a really nice area to test all right 351 down 36 up for the 5g you see holding up but it's definitely got some usage on it all right so that was 5g standalone apparently let's turn off the standalone and let's see if we get any difference in performance throughput or anything like that and then we'll uh, we'll close things out by testing LTE as well. Oh God, what is going on here? Uh oh. All right, so the ping didn't really change. We're still at 15. Jitter is at one. Downlink's at 26 megabits. Uh, uplink's around 17. All right, so the standalone seems to be performing better. 3,900 for the downloaded latency. What are we, around 400 for the uploaded latency? Okay, so that's kind of crazy. All right, so there's your NSA. Let's go ahead and turn on LTE. All right, so upper right-hand corner, we got LTE. Good stuff. And this will be our last test here, just to see how T-Mobile's doing on LTE. And you really don't want to be on T-Mobile's LTE because their 5G offers much more throughput. But uh, you never know, somebody might be in an iPhone 11 an iPhone 10, 10R, 10S, whatever. You know, hopefully, they, anybody's still on an iPhone 8. Oh man, or maybe you got an SE or SE2. All right, LT getting taxed. 36 down. Looks like about 16 on the up. 21 ping, four jitter. Come on zoom, and then we got like 529 and 300 something on the loaded latencies. All right, guys, that's your test over here near the Amazon and all this uh, high traffic area, lots of usage. Good stuff, actually. They all kind of held up. Uh, T-Mobile seems to be struggling. Not really sure why. They're definitely on that tower site. Uh, they're right below the Verizon cells. I can see it from here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Comment on your opinions on the testing. Let me know how you think they did. Good enough? They need to do better?